Bang. Bang. Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The ish gets real. I you get shot during the day? And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the right <laughs> now. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is up, everybody? It's Corey Vincent here with the video game Bang Back in Business in my own Biachin studio place here called the VGB Studios in beautiful Sacramento, California. Back where I belong. Back where I belong! Speaking of Lincoln Park, and my co host sitting right across from me, his name is Aaron Carter. Uh, what's happening, everybody? Sir Aaron Carter here, as always. <laughs> as always. Do you even leave? Uh, no, actually, uh, no. All right, interesting. Not to throw a uh, derail, but your uh, your wife just added me on Snapchat. Yeah. What does that mean? He sits to my left <laughs> weekend, <laughs> weekend out. <laughs> His name is the real David Webb. What's going on, everybody? How you doing, David? I'm doing good. Yeah. I can see things. You look healthy. I, uh, thank you. I don't know what that means. I don't when know. People but... say it until this moment. But this is what it means. Yeah. You look healthy? When yeah. people look like me, that means they look healthy. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, like just today. Just like, today. Yeah. But it's awkward because it's awkward I'm at McDonald's for dinner. So. Really? Maybe it's not going to last very long. Maybe that's the trick. What Maybe. A uh, uh, quarter pounder. Quarter pounder. With quarter pounder. With cheese? With cheese. Royale with cheese. Royale. That's <laughs> yeah, what they call Royale with cheese. In Europe, that's, that's what they, what they call, call it. In yeah. uh, and she's joining us. You see her up in the top right corner. Beautiful as always. Joining us back on the show after her time in Philly. Ivy Doom Kitty, how you doing? And West Philadelphia, born and raised. Hello, guys. How you doing? Is that what you saying like to yourself the whole time you were there? I would. I actually may have been. Let's not. Let's not drop any names, but uh, let, let's get into this, Ivy. Let, let's get into this right away. Uh, you had some celebrities on your jock. Uh oh. No. Yeah. We don't have to name drop. It could be completely anonymous. Who was it, Will Smith? No. It was Disney. Oh, God, no. Kevin Hart? Wait, 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 wait. No. What do you mean, God, no? The dude's married. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. All right, that's that's the response I'm looking for. Oh, that's what we're talking oh, about. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? What did you think that I was going to say? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he's tall. Maybe yeah. he's tall? Yeah. Okay. 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 That's okay. It's his hair. Right. That's yeah. a good answer, Aaron. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Some girls don't like tall guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So uh, a, cele- okay. a celebrity came on to you. Uh, yeah, a celebrity did, and it was very awkward and very uncomfortable, and I pretty much avoided the area that he was in because it was just really weird. Well, okay, you know, L- let's get a, let's let's get to brass taxes here. Really this is bizarre. I'm not saying any names. I know, but if it was Aaron, if it rhymes with no, Blake. no, 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 <laughs> Blake, <laughs> no. Does uh, it rhyme with uh, Schmiss Cat? It doesn't rhyme with anything. Okay. It doesn't rise with. Uh, but the Chris principle Humphreys. doesn't matter who it is. You had a famous person, world famous, probably has millions of dollars hitting uh, on you. I mean, in the other situation, I can't think of a celebrity who would hit on me at a convention that I would reject, knowing that there's so much to gain from it. Roseanne Barr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so how much, much to gain? How much money I do you think she's done? I don't look at people in the sense of, okay, I got this to gain or that, or I'm not, what's the term? Some people use this little word, star effer. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a thing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Star fucker? Yeah. 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 That's my new, that's my new outlaw name. That's, that's a new album. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm upgrading. No more Star Lord. I'm Star Fucker. <laughs> uh, I've never heard the term before. Are you going to get the that. same reaction that he did? Who? Who? Exactly. <laughs> From all the stars. And Roseanne Barr is 80 million. It was very awkward. It was very uncomfortable. He was hounding me for my information. What? And I kept making, like, excuses. Okay, well, yeah, don't worry, you know. Uh, I will have my assistant get my card. Well, no, no, no. Like, how do I get a hold of you? You know, like, how do I talk to you? You know, how do I do this? How do I do that? And I'm like, uh, 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 uh. So why? It why, was very awkward. It was very uncomfortable. Why? And why? Why reserve though? 
I don't what? understand why why so reserved about it though. Like, uh, was it was the guy attractive to you? No. Okay. All right. All right. Then that's he enough. wasn't attractive to me at all. But the way <laughs> no in which he approached yeah, me no was also very unsettling. Yeah. Um, he came at me with a like. Wow. That's soon, huh? He he made comments about certain body parts of himself. Was like Hugh Jackman? Oh. Throughout all of this. Jeez. It was Hugh and Jackman. it was it was very uncomfortable. Hugh Jackman. Uh, while we're taking care of the final bits of business and doing all the uh, promotional retweets and stuff, we got to thank our sponsors, Oblivion Comics and Coffee. As we broke the news a while back ago, we are getting our very own toast very very soon. Yes. You can go into a location and order the video game bang, and they will not throw you out of the building. They will actually make you a piece of delicious toast that you can eat and uh, take pictures of and selfies and all that stuff. And, what, uh, what kind is it? Oh, like, what, what's it? Oh, if I want to order it, you know, because I will be out in Sacramento. So oh, that's right. We so if I want to go to Oblivion Comics and say, I want the video game bang, video game bang me, you know, like, is Jeez. that how I like, wow. go up there and say it? Or, Don't, say that, know, what I do? Don't yeah. say that in Sacramento. Don't say that in Sacramento. Say that exactly. Only then. say it in that one place. And then what you're going to get is you're going to get a thick piece of artisan toast from a local bakery. Thick piece mm -hmm. of artisan. Artisan toast. toast with a little bit of butter. A little not, bit of sea salt. Not a lot of butter. butter. You're going to get some honey. You're going to get a little bit of chocolate sauce. And on top of that, they're going to give you a I little bit of Nutella anymore. sauce. Nobody calls it Nutella. <laughs> That's something different. Yeah. I call it Nutella. And, and peanut butter. What do, what do people call it? Nutella. 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 Nutella? It's either Nutella or Nutella. But it's because it's made from nuts. No. It's not peanut butter, too. Ella. It's not not Ella. Undermine Nutella. <laughs> A, didn't, didn't, wasn't no, there a song a about it that, that yeah, Rihanna you're right. wrote? You're right. You're who right. is thick, by the way, now, apparently. Did you guys see all the photos of this? Of who? Rihanna? Oh, no, I haven't seen Thick Rihanna yet. Oh, Thick Rihanna? <laughs> hashtag oh. Thick Rihanna. Oh, hashtag Thick Rihanna all day. Thick spelled T H I C C. She's looking good. Oh, man, guys. She is. She wears it well, man. She's beautiful. Um, thank you, everybody in chat. We got Drew in the TARDIS, Mo Fruity. Pratt Pratt Gaming is back, everybody. Sheldon is in the house. And more trickling Sheldon! in. We love all you guys. Please give us some love. Uh, and, you know, retweet the show. Tell people what you're listening to. That's great. Uh, beyond Oblivion Comics and Coffee and the awesome toast you can order, we got to thank Mainframe for... Oh, thank you for the cheers in chat. But Mainframe sent us our newest care package. And they ha we all have it on our face right now. Uh, these are their optic No, not glasses. we all. Well, the ones that matter. Wow. Well, because here's the deal. Ivy, you were sent a code to order your own, but you don't check your email. I haven't email. ordered it yet. Yeah, so who's to blame? Exactly. Yeah. You. So the, those of us who do uh, pay attention to our emails, we have these beautiful optic glasses. I've been wearing them for two days straight, practically, and I already, honestly, not even fucking around, can tell the difference in my eye strain. My See, my eyes are super tired when I came to the show. And I put these on, and looking at the computer, it is relaxing. It's like it mainly changes up like the large white pages. So like the Twitch dashboard that I'm staring at right now is usually like always in my freaking face. Yeah. And now it's like oh, nice. it's there. Yeah. Yeah. We can move on. And they're in the Wayfarer style that Aaron yes. has made famous. Uh, yes, very much so. Have and, you? Uh, oh yeah. What? Okay. What? Where Just have you been the last decade plus? Okay. Yeah. So uh, check them out. And you know what? Here's the thing. I looked into Gunners beforehand. Yeah. That's the competition. I know you're not supposed to name the competition. People don't like that stuff. But here's the deal. Gunners are like 100 bucks. They start at like $100 and go up. They're like 100 bucks, and I, I'm not a huge fan of the style. No. I don't want to look like a, like a sniper. Like. Yeah, they're a little too like, yeah, I'm playing a first-person shooter, and I'm uh, – you know, gonna do some man stuff. Duty. I have guns in my house, things like that. They're very right wing. These yeah. here, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> these are like these are like libertarian. These are yeah, yeah, hipster chic, hipster I like chic. I can take wow. these to Oblivion Comics and Coffee, and right in. my credibility shoots way through the roof. Way through the roof. Why do you think I wear glasses? That's a good point. They're not even real. Good point. So uh, get yourself some optic glasses. I I am pissed off that I haven't bit, bit the bullet and bought these like months ago. Oh yeah. Because as a, my job is to look at computer screens, yeah. Then my hobby is to look at the, the same damn computer screens for hours upon hours upon hours, and now life is just good. So uh, 
check it out optics mainframe usa now we can get to the show everybody uh i have a treat for everybody Gross. let's uh <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to talk about uh suicide is on the list good lord <laughs> You brought it up. I didn't bring it up. <laughs> Not for the show. Question, is is that going to get brought up after the treat? Because I have a feeling that they're going to be connected. To I have a treat for everybody on the show. It's gonna be uh, but I'll save it for a little bit later. Uh, let's talk about Jimmy John's. Have you guys ever had these sandwiches? I have. I've had Jimmy John's. I've had uh, Jimmy Dean's. Jimmy Dean's sausage? <laughs> Not the sausage, no. Pancakes. Well, I mean. Jimmy Dean makes pancakes? Yeah. Jimmy Dean does everything. it all. Jimmy, Jimmy Dean, Dean makes breakfast. They make, yeah. yeah, they are breakfast. Jimmy Dean's a beast. Yeah. Um, have you had Jimmy John's, though, or do you even know what it is, Ivy? I have heard of it, but I don't know what it is, no. Aaron. I'm literally Googling it right now <laughs> because I have no idea what this place is. I've driven past this Jimmy, Jimmy Jean, what is it? Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. I've driven past Jimmy John's so many times. I always thought it was a barbecue place. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Why, okay. You, why, well, I don't know. Just I have mean, like Jimmy John's barbecue. You stop on by and get some ribs. No, it's gonna right. sound I like that. that. It, it still feels like a breakfast spot. Really? Because you, you're hooked I'm on used Jimmy, to Jimmy Dean. Dean. Yeah. You're hooked on Jimmy Dean. And exactly. Jimmy Don Johns. Is Jimmy Dongs. Jimmy Dongs. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's something different. That's a whole favorite, different. That's place. his favorite porn star. That's yeah. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Jimmy Dongs. So J- <laughs> Jimmy John. <laughs> Jimmy John's. Yeah. I went to the sandwiches. We went to Jimmy John's. The only reason I went there was out of tragedy. I've driven past this place a million times. I watched a video on the internet yesterday about a man who was working at a Jimmy John's and got robbed at gunpoint. And the gun was right in his face. Okay. Inches from his face. And uh, the guy was cool as a fucking cucumber. Did not flinch. Did not do anything. He just gave the guy what he wanted. He went away and became kind of, I guess, like a celebrity on the news or something. Oh, I've seen that uh, video. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. If anything, he looked annoyed. Yeah, he was like, fucking A. Fine. And then he uh, made that sweet sweet glove shot when he walked away. He threw his glove and it... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Banked it. Yep. (laughs) So that's the only reason I went to the place. Because they got robbed. That was the best marketing campaign you you could ever ask for. You know, they say, you know... There's no such thing as bad publicity. That's so, true. I mean, 100%. Say that. So that guy earned his company $8 or whatever I spent today. And he probably got the same amount working there at uh, <laughs> For three hours. Jimmy Dean's, yeah. Jimmy John's, whatever expansion. Uh, but uh, I did kind of want to talk about this whole suicide thing. T- tell me, r- relive the story to me so to make sure I understood it properly when I heard it. Uh, guy's girlfriend kind of just egged him on to what? end it. Wait, so, so, no, I heard the guy, I, wait, from the first telling, he was already, go ahead. I don't know, I am, this is all news to me. What happened? So, this is how I interpreted it. This guy had mental issues, probably, he was kind of well, yeah, suicidal. If, yeah, if you got, if you're suicidal, then yeah, you have mental issues. And his girlfriend, instead of being like, baby, don't kill yourself, let's do this and that, she's like, okay, just do it. And yeah. he did it. It's like, <gasps> just do it already. Yeah, like, what are you waiting for? Just just do it. And then he so did it. So she called him on it, and he went and he did it. Yeah. He actually did it. Not only that, he apparently, uh, she's in trouble. She's going to jail. Uh, no, no, no. She's on trial right now. Oh, okay. It's not that she's going to jail. They're trying to use the text messages uh, that they had, uh, that she, you know, sent to uh, prosecute her. And they have, uh, like, a whole bunch of them, apparently. Oh, so it wasn't just one isolated incident? Uh, no. I, well, I think it was one isolated time with a whole bunch of different texts. Right. So, like, one day, 30 texts, he ended it. So, I, I've watched a good chunk of Law & Order. Oh, uh, all right. Go, so, uh, and you're, you're very well-versed uh, in it, bird law? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it uh, going to be... Wow, uh, that is some crazy stuff. Uh, I think... During involuntary manslaughter is what they're saying. See, close. Uh, I didn't watch last season. That's the problem. Oh, wow. This is just starting. Wow. Our legal system is amazing. She was 17 when all this happened. She's 20 now. Uh, I was going to say, I thought this was a She was a child when all this happened, too? She was 17, yeah. This is... Okay. Do you... Let's just... Okay. We we kind of have the scenario. What do you think should happen? Should she do jail time, uh, Aaron? 10 years. Bam. Are you serious? Yes. You really think she should go to jail? Oh yes. For that? Oh yes. All right. I think she should because she needs to be made an example of. Yeah. Wait a minute. You think you're in the same boat? You think she should be persecuted? Absolutely. Web. I don't think jail. What? What do you think? A I spanking? Don't know. 
No. From like, from like Jimmy Dong. <laughs> from Jimmy Dong, yeah. No, like like uh house arrest maybe like what oh, okay something. okay all right okay but all here's right. the thing here's why here's why she did dumb thing she said something dumb but she, multiple she, dumb things she didn't like i need to see the, all the text real quick maybe that's why maybe i haven't read the text but then at the to same me? token you know at the same token though i mean i get messages not as often as i did before but i still get messages from people that are like, kill yourself. You should just kill yourself. You should do this. You should do that. I think that, slit your th- like I get some really nasty messages from people sometimes. So Aaron, but do you but think, I think, so, you think everybody? Why don't ever- you effing die? Die, See, die, die! That was that I here's, kill but what, here's the end result though. The difference. She's on the podcast talking to us. That other guy is dead. So a, no, here, a, no. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If Ivy would, heaven forbid, it's the worst thing of all time, do it. Would we? Would you say to track down everybody who ever said that online and they all go to jail? If Ivy came out saying, I want to... No, screw that. We're putting... Ivy, you're not doing that. If somebody came out saying, I want to kill myself, and then you text to them, let me read this, you need to do it. That's one of the texts. I'm reading verbatim off of her thing right now. You can't think about it. You just have to do it. Quote, unquote. That is what she said. It's advice... Even it's, <laughs> wow. it's, it's bad All advice. Right. It's right, you're bad done. advice. You're but done. I, I don't feel like one thing someone says that makes someone decide to kill themselves. Like I don't think that's manslaughter. I think I it's shitty, and I think it's, it's terrible. It's involuntary manslaughter. No, that's what she's going manslaughter up. Manslaughter is like when you accidentally hit someone with your car. No, that's a physical action no. that made somebody dead. No, this is like, you know, I, it's not. It's. It's not black and white to me. It's like it's a gray area, to be honest. I can't. I don't know. Because I see both sides of it. It's just it's a weird situation. If you a real quick scenario, lay it on me. Your closest friend, because I think you guys are detaching yourself from it. Yeah. Because you don't know these people and I understand right. that. No. Yeah. You think of your closest friend. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking of you, Aaron. What? Good Lord. Okay. Now what? And they're going through that whole thing, and mm-hmm. this third party person is texting them you don't know that a third party person is texting them okay and they're egging them on basically to kill themselves you wouldn't hold that person responsible for i would hold them responsible but in my mind i can't see that as doing jail time just because it it, to me that now imagine if they were black (laughs) you're the worst person yes exactly it doesn't i can't I don't know. To me, it so what's feel, ge- what's, I feel what's, like regardless, uh, you know, it, it would still be the same thing. You know, I don't care. You know, if you I, if you push someone to that point, you clearly know they're already in a very s- volatile or sensitive mental state. Yeah. And it is in your power to seek help for them because they obviously aren't capable of doing it themselves in that moment in time. So if anything, you know what's going through their head. You have all of the information telling them that they're not okay. At that point, if someone goes to you and they're like, hey, I'm having suicidal thoughts. Hey, I, I'm, I'm contemplating suicide. I'm thinking about killing myself. And these are the steps I'm going to take to do it. Then it's up to you to take responsibility and act on that. Because you know what? You may be that very last person that talks to them, that sees them alive or hears them alive. And it's up to you to do something about that. I agree. You know, one- take ownership of it and, and just go, hey, you know what? Here, here's the suicide help hotline. Or, you know what? I, I need a, I'm need. i going to call a family member to check on you. Or you need help. Hey, I'm going to get, you know, psychiatrist or whatever involved. Whatever it is you need to do to help that person. Because they clearly are at a point where, you know, I understand the whole, okay, yeah, they're just crying for help. They're not really going to do it. I, I understand that people may argue that. But you know what? It, it, it's not anything to joke about. And if someone's talking about getting to that point, then, yeah, you know what? She had an opportunity to help him and to seek help for him. And she knew where he was at. And instead of, you know, pushing to help him and, and to try to save that life, she pushed him in the opposite of, of direction of egging some him on and to, for him to end up doing it. I, I, I agree with Ivy 100%. Uh, the right decent thing to do is definitely that. And I have been that person, as I'm sure you know, many people have. Uh, we've been that person when you have someone who's struggling or ha- ha- we have some mental illness or drug addiction where that becomes like a thing. 
and it is your responsibility as a decent human being to say something. I don't know about jail time, but we'll see. What's we'll, jail time to you? Jail what's, time? what's a crime? What's if a she, crime? If she bought no, no, the no. Gun forget, forget, to him. forget that thing. What's jail time to me? What, what's a, what's a crime that's jail time to you? Uh, what murder. Is the, what is the the minimum thing you can do? <laughs> the minimum. Yes, thing the you can do probably not pay your taxes. Really? <laughs> yeah. So Speed three times. Get really? Tickets. No, speeding. No, no, no. I'm not saying like that's what I think, but I well, think I'm that's asking what you think. That's I know that's thing. the law. Yeah, but I'm asking what you oh, think. Oh, in my opinion, yeah, in your opinion, be the if this is not jail time, and I didn't even say life, I said ten years. She's thirty when she's getting out. She'll probably have a degree, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And then she's white and blonde, so she'll have like minimum All right. security. All right, we'll we'll move forward. <laughs> like, we'll move forward. Uh, speaking of kill yourself, uh, good lord! I know a lot That's of you guys hate my theme songs, right? <laughs> That's particularly one. We hate it. You guys all hate it's it. Okay. Shite. I know. A- Aaron, your thoughts on the Brain Bang theme song? Um, it'd be better if it was an entirely different song. <laughs> Hey, you, you do know that you're um, hosting on in real life, right? In IRL? Yes. Okay, just thought you would have been on gaming or something. <laughs> okay. Damn, look at her. Come well, I mean, try to direct the show or something. I know, trying to direct my show. All right, that's fine. Uh, I heard the people, and that is why I present to you all right now, for the first time ever. No, no this is going to be good. The brand new Brain Bang theme song. Oh! Uh, so you please don't tell me you ruined this. I put a lot of work into this. And that's what's disappointing. Donald Glover is turning over in his grave right now. And he's not even dead. He's not even dead. The future. In the future. When he That's it went forward in time. Yes. Mary Allen ran. Mary <laughs> Allen changed the change of time thing again. Yes. Bang bang. Oh, this is so <laughs> To vote, that's it, man. Oh, you oh. never know what questions are asked on Brain Bang. We're done. We wanna know what's on your mind. Oh <laughs> Brain Bang. <laughs> we do our best to never ask the same things. You didn't like my last song, so I changed it. Oh my god, this is <laughs> It made me realize my pride. Oh my god. We're getting bits for this. From your cousin. We ask questions. Oh my god, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Please, and that you. is the Brain Bang theme song. <laughs> you guys wanted uh, it. You know I what? delivered. First of all, it's entirely too long. <laughs> you know what? First of all, that's what that, you said. I like Same it. All. I like it. I vote. I vote that. Credit vote where credit that. is due. I gotta say that must have been the most embarrassing moment for you in your life. <laughs> what? Probably sitting alone, <laughs> hitting that octave <laughs> with your wife outside the door, like, "What the hell did I do?" To deserve this, you hear a bang. It was just I put the work into this fam. I heard the dogs in the <laughs> background. At, I wrote, I wrote lyrics. Damn, look at you! I sat there. They and all I like thought. it. They all like it. You know what? Chat loves it. You put so much effort into that. Good work. <laughs> wow. Oh wow! You actually wrote it. Holy crap! For for all the <laughs> thumbs up that you're gonna get, I have to be the realist. <laughs> Oh my god. That Mr. Gambino, I, I apologize. <laughs> this week's brain bang question. <laughs> it's a hor it's horrible, but it's better than the other one. Mm. <laughs> oh, Ceramic Dragon asked, how many times did you have to punch your crotch to get that high <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Only once, surprisingly. Well, one good one. Well now I understand why she uh, had to be can, on can you can you please, you know <laughs> just do it. Do it right now for us. Do it for right now with us. Yeah, hit the <clears throat> octave real quick. Duck the yeah. dark. He's got my back. Aaron. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, Drew in the TARDIS said he's not going to lie. He'd F with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I finally won the day, Ooh. Aaron. Sheldon wants this to be downloadable. 
So Patreon. he can throw it away? <laughs> Said I want two copies so I can throw both of them in the trash. <laughs> this week's brain bang question, really, I wanted to ans- uh, ask, uh, hit the hit the Overwatch scene one more time. Uh, who has the worst reputation in the Overwatch season five right now? Uh, first option, Hanzo mains. Second answer, Mercy mains. Third, Genji mains. And then the last one, Widow mains. Do any of those particularly frustrate you when you play Aaron? Uh, no, actually. So if you get into a match and the team comp does not require a Hanzo, or you need a healer or a tank or something like that, yet there's a one guy who just wants to be Hanzo, regardless of anything. See, that's the thing, and, and I think maybe it, it might just be a quick play thing. I haven't really ran into those type of situations where it's like, this guy just sticks on Hanzo or... Maybe I it's th- a PS4 thing. Or maybe it's a PS4 thing. You know, maybe see, they're more so sophisticated there. I don't know. Uh, wow. Maybe, uh, yeah. I could see them not trying it because it'd be too difficult on the controller. So, yeah, they versus... they kind of just go with... Uh, like, they'll be them. They'll definitely pick the, the character. But then after a while, they'll just be like, all right, I need to switch. Well, so uh, this was got a lot of reactions. Like, in no time at all, it jumped up a couple thousand votes. Uh, just with lo- the lowest one surprisingly to me was widow mains which was for the longest time one of my least favorites i Just love widow wi- okay widow or hanzo which one would you prefer if you had to have one widow. a widow. Widow. widow widow yeah um people would say i uh actually i'll get to the comments afterwards since i didn't do another uh 18 percent of the vote were genji mains okay uh that's acceptable yeah, I mean yeah. Genji can be come in handy. Genji's pretty if powerful in Genji. the right hands, though. Yeah, in the that's right why hands. the whole pro Genji thing happened. Yeah, because there's no such there there, there is a such a thing, but it's so rare. Twenty seven percent of the vote was Mercy mains, and thirty eight percent still say Hanzo has the worst reputation in Overwatch. Mercy mains. Mercy mains was what I was expecting to get first place. Why? Why Mercy? So, uh, but this is for competitive, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is so competitive, hundred percent. Basically, <laughs> the elo is like inflated so that you can go from gold to master with mercy, yeah. super easy. Okay. With very mechanical, with very little mechanical skills. Because all you have to do is heal. Yes. Okay. So then you get all these people in the super high elos who are only playing mercy, and they're not that good at mercy, and they refuse to change from I anything see. else. Okay. So it's kind of like more of an issue for people who are. Higher level. Higher level up. That makes sense. That's what I was going to ask. Because at my level, I'm like, whew, I'm glad we have a mercy. True that. Um, other piece said, people said, I love how much shit mercy is getting for just that, but no one is saying a damn thing about Reinhardt, which I think is different. I think Reinhardt takes a lot more skill and patience to play than mercy. Mm-hmm. What? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I was asking uh, Web a question. Oh, okay. Um, that was the brain bang. That was it. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I could tune out now. Give me a second. Uh. All right. Oh, so uh, there was another thing we wanted to get to, and it was uh, Ivy actually came to us very heated about a topic oh, that, no. that you wanted to bring up, and I'll let you do the intro. I mean, this is your floor. And it wasn't the celebrity thing? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's no. a lot that happened over the last few weeks. Yeah. This is Ivy Doom Kitty. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's hear it. Ivy, let's go. Fuck. Ask. Sorry, I'm answering chat right now. Thank oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, just whatever. <laughs> Take your time yeah, with here's chat. Here's the floor, <laughs> Ivy. Hold on. The <laughs> circuit soon wants to know where I got the Reaper uh, mask back there. And uh, I can't remember. I kn- God, so he's my friend. I'm drawing a, blonde, a, 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 a mental block. Um, as soon as I remember, I will let you know, and I'll post his info on there because he's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I got the his uh, shotgun little pistol-y poo 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 things, and also his mask back there. It's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so some drama for your mama. Ooh, our favorite thing. All right. So, um, no, there was just you know, I'm I'm definitely gonna write like a blog post about this too because. It was definitely a topic that really got a lot of uh, people within the cosplay community involved. And uh, the topic was, uh, it was a particular cosplayer that uh, had posted on 
Twitter that she's finally acknowledging and accepting the fact that the type of photos and work that she does is porn, which is fine. Go for it. You know, uh, uh, links, you do please. you. You know, if you're going to, you know, the if, if you do porn or you do whatever it is that you do, you know, that's you. That's that's how you present yourself. That's what you like to do. And that's what you know, that, that's the work that you enjoy. Go for it. Just like other people enjoy this work or that work or that work. There's so many different facets, you know. So, you know, I'm not here to judge what you do and what you don't do. Yeah. But, you know, and I have a lot of friends that do, uh, you know, they're either in the porn industry or, you know, things like that. Links, please. You know, and that's fine. That's great. You know, do whatever you're going to do. I don't care. Well, I mean, we would if we had links. I mean, The issue. Okay is when somebody makes blanket statements and says, you know what, any cosplayer that does any kind of boudoir is doing porn. And you, That's, of course, started that, doing boudoir before you were even doing cosplay. Yeah, yeah, I've been a boudoir model for a while. Um, I've been doing that for quite a bit of time. And then, you know, once I started cosplaying, I started to incorporate some of the boudoir into my cosplay or some of my photo shoots. So I've been doing it since uh, before a lot of these girls have been doing it, you know, and it's fine. You know, it, it's a lot of fun. I, I, I think it's pretty cool that a lot of different girls embrace it. But for me, it's a thing of embrace the aesthetic, embrace the art of it. Yeah. You know, if you're going to do boudoir, do it artistically, you know, yeah. it's, it's art, you know, just like cosplay, just like anything else. It's a form of art. So do it with that in mind. Uh, have pride in what it is that you work, what you do, regardless, you know, of what it is, you know, have, have pride for that and show pride for it. But when you admit to something that it is that you do, and then you go and drag the rest of the community into it as well, to validate what it is that you do, that's what's wrong. You know, you don't get to decide what this person and that person and that person does. You don't get to, you know, you know, define what it is that they do. You know, that's not right and that's wrong. Just like I don't go and define what this person or that person does and I don't make blanket statements about the community in terms of, yes, everyone just does this one thing. You know, because there's a lot of people that work really hard to you know, not do boudoir or, you know, they do boudoir a certain way or they don't do any of that. And they only do stuff, you know, like photos with kids and charity things and things like that. And, you know, they're great and everything with that and, and vice versa with everything else. But when, when you make blanket statements like that, you're actually damaging the entire community. Um, you know, it, it hurts the whole community. And, you know, from a professional level, you know, some cosplayers don't want to be associated in terms of, you know, doing that kind of uh, aesthetic or, or work type because of it can affect them, you know, with appearances. It can affect them with contracts that they might have with, you know, things that are, you know, PG, PG-13 or whatever. So when things like that are said, it, it, it it's a very bad thing. Um, you know, and this cosplayer made a very very grave error in making that statement so i got very upset and for me i feel like hey you know what if there's something bad that's happening or something wrong that's being said it's up to each person no we're not posting any links in regard to this <laughs> no, in, in I mean, regard to this um dm me for the links. dm the I mean, links just, yeah, yeah. yeah dm the links i I'm denied it nismonic sorry i'll take private links so here's the deal. But I, hold on. I met with the okay. Go ahead. So I got I was very upset about the entire thing, and you know I posted on my own social media, on my own Twitter feed. You know, cosplay boudoir is not porn. There is a big difference. Get it straight. That's uh -oh. all I posted. She said, "Get it Wait, straight, fam." Did you start? Did you start some uh, some funk? Well, no. Yes, I finished it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Um, hello. So, so that's what was posted on my my personal account, or not on my personal account, but on my uh, on my uh, Twitter feed. 
And then this cosplayer made it a point to come to my Twitter account and say, no, this is what happened. And like, no, it is, it is porn. It's porn. It's definitely porn. Blah, 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 blah. So this was back and forth. And then at that point, I was like, all right, you know what? I'm not holding anything back. I'm, I'm done. Like, let's, let's do this. And ooh, ooh. I went and posted multiple different, uh, you know, reasons and statements for why, no, this is not porn. You do not get to define it. And unfortunately, this person said, oh, well, I've been, oh, what's the word? Cos- other cosplayers as well as myself have been, uh, it was like, chain- what was the word? Changing the way that you know what? Let me let me look at it because I don't want to ruin. So, and I or, quote: uh, While you're looking that up, the I, I talked to a a photo guy, a guy who d- uh, does art at these conventions. He's pretty well known, goes all over the country. And I was so disappointed when I talked to him, and he had such a negative opinion on cosplay in general. Yeah, he called I mean, it all porn. He was like, if you're in a cosplay, you're just doing it for an attention. They're all attention whores. They're all super disrespectful at the cons. They come in front of my booth with their giant group of friends. And they're not competition. Like, I'm a real artist. Like, he, he really started going off on cosplayers Wow. as a whole. Wow. Like, said so many, like, blanket controversial statements. And, you know, me, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, make a huge thing out of it. But I was like, dude, I think you're letting a small number of, you know, what you've experienced pretty much speak for an entire group of people who that's not the intention yeah no like note to self do not associate with that person because they are very bitter yeah it sounded like just an old bitter guy he's like i've been to conventions back when they used to allow real porn stars uh on the con floor because i guess that was a thing like I mean, it, at some conventions, they would like AVN or something, maybe. No, no, like this was like WonderCon, I believe. Oh, jeez. They had like re- legit porn stars there. Yeah, at the um, uh, what is it? CES, I believe, is one of the ones where. Oh, okay, here oh, we yeah. go. That Sorry. con is already is like next to the porn convention. Okay, uh, so. Floor. Okay, so. Uh, what what she was saying was that her as well as other cosplayers have redefined what boudoir is in cosplay and in Patreon. So she started drag Patreon into this, to so now mean something different. And that's when I said, no, absolutely not. You know, I've been cos I've been doing boudoir since before cosplay, since before all of this. You know, I've been doing it for a while. You know, two. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Two, you know, who do you think you are? You don't get to redefine what an established term is. You know, what what right do you think that you have? So, one of my fans made a comment on there about how, you know, she's not like the Neo of cosplay. You know, they're like, oh, well, you know, she's (laughs) not the... Matrix Neo? Yeah, Matrix Neo. (laughs) Wow. Okay. It was funny. <laughs> no, it's... you know, so she's like, you know, she's not the neo. She isn't the neo cosplay and savior of cosplay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I responded back with, ha ha ha. You know, that's that's actually really funny, referring to the neo comment because that was funny. And then all of a sudden, I'm a bully because I thought the post was funny. However, get this. Her fan that was going back and forth with my fan because they were like white knighting or whatever. This was a true white knight clash. Yes. Oh, that's the clash a... of the titans. Wow, I've so always seen racist party. To I've always though. seen white knights on the internet. You know what so, a white knight is, Aaron? Right. Hold so, on. Let's give, we need to get terms. Hold on. No, you hold on. This is my show, uh, and it's a no nonsense show. And I like to define terms for people who don't understand them. And one of them is the term white knight. Aaron, do you know what that means? Yeah, I know. What so people don't say it's racist. Hey, well, it's I mean, it's KKK. still racist, but it's yeah. not racist. It's all racist. okay. <laughs> it's a step below the magic racist. dragon or whatever. It's. Yeah, I'm gonna put a blanket statement over that whole thing. It's all racist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So white knights are the people who will generally Lynch are seen you. as defending like uh, an attractive woman online with a secret hopes of uh, getting some some uh, some booty uh, I wonder how many times that's worked for them never it's actually scientifically proven there's been wow. no time a white knight actually got booty but so what happened was Ivy's white knight started fighting with these other white knights so it was a it was a clash it was like when you hear Ivy's story it's think of uh, think of Game of Thrones in your head 
<laughs> okay, <clears throat> so I, I am the Khaleesi. <laughs> I, 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 I claim dibs on the dragons. I'm the mother of dragons. So? But anyhow, so, you know, then <clears throat> my fan made a comment on Twitter about, <clears throat> you know, like, Ivy's been doing this for <clears throat> however long, and, like, she's really done, like, played me up to a point where it was, like, it bothered me. It was no, it was not appropriate. <laughs> so the white man was feeling himself. And, and then, and then now mother of cats. Yes. Uh, and then the, the other guy, he's like, Oh, well, Ivy's not the Neo of cosplay, blah, blah, blah. So I responded with a ha ha ha. That's freaking funny as hell. Because you know what? I freaking got a sense of humor and I can laugh at myself when people make funny ass comments. I'm not going to get my panties in a bunch over a freaking stupid ass comment like that. So what's it the was results funny. here? How, how did this it all pan out? It was funny. Neo of cosplay. Neo of cos. Come on. It's pretty freaking stupid and hilarious. So what? what's you the know? end result? But here? anyhow, apparently I was a bully because I thought it was hilarious, even though I also laughed at myself when that's what I was called to. And I thought it was equally funny when I was called that. But, you so, know, some people just they don't get it. Um, but anyhow, uh, aside from that, then, you know, she never apologized. She was more or like, oh, well, I didn't realize that, you know, I shouldn't have made a blanket statement or whatever. Like, it wasn't an acknowledge of an apology on any level. Not, not an I'm sorry, which that bothers me because that tells me that you have too much damn pride to even be able to admit your own faults. And if you have too much pride to say I'm sorry then you have a serious personality flaw. And that's someone I don't want to be associated with. Um, you know, oh, and then also, um, so I have no problems with sex workers. Zero problems with sex workers. Like I said earlier, I have friends that are in the industry, you know, and what they do, they do well. They do a great job, you know. Again, links. <laughs> yeah, I have no links. issues with them. Links and coupons. Links, please. She's, is she getting us she, links? I think she's getting us she coupons finding, as well. well. I'll send you links to some of my friends. Yeah, they, they would love for, <laughs> for you guys to check out their work. Absolutely. Yeah, I will send you links. But, um, you know, I have no problems with them. Yeah, and coupons. coupons. You know, I, I fully support them and everything. But, you know, also, for some weird reason, I apparently have an issue with sex workers. And that it boils down to the inability of people on the Internet unable to comprehend or read proper English. Um, and it was just frustrating. So then the, the whole thing died and then it came back to life yesterday with, you know, somebody made a comment and they were trying to be helpful and they brought the whole damn thing to life. And I was like, oh my God, like, I do not want to deal with this because I do not have time to waste life on, you know, a stupid Twitter thing that, you know, it, it, it's, it's dumb. You know, I said my piece. I said what I needed to say. And you know what? I, yeah, I'm going to stand up for the community and I'm going to fight for the community and I'm going to fight for every new cosplayer that's wanting to come in or that's interested in the craft that automatically feels like they can't do it because they have to forcefully, you know, do boudoir or do pinup or do the porn stuff that this girl's doing, you know, and that's not the case. You know, you don't have to do any of any of that. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Cosplay characters that you love and enjoy and have fun with it. And that's the core of it. Enjoying yourself and having fun with it. But do not put labels on other people. Um, and uh, hold on. What's, uh, people can't go so they want because of... Uh, I was kidding. Circuit soon. You can still cosplay. You got to do it. I I am not of... I, I am Latina. I am I am Latina and I am very brown. Uh, and I cosplay whoever the hell I want because I enjoy those characters. Um, so, you know, and it's about, you know, like enjoying yourself. It's about empower, empowerment, having fun. But, uh, you know, then a really, really great friend of mine, uh, online, uh, who I will say her name because she's awesome. Uh, Meg Turney jumped in and she's like, Hey, you know, like, Ivy, I, again, I don't want to mess it up because I don't like to uh, misquote anything. And speaking of misquotes, while I look for this, um, one of the other things was then this this 
comms player from before was backpedaling and was saying, hey, you know what? Uh, I didn't say this and I didn't say that and I didn't make a blanket statement. I, well, you know, screen caps exist for a reason. I screen had screen capped the post and reposted it onto the thread. Said, hey, are you sure you you know you don't want to restate what you said? You sure you don't want to correct what you said because you did say that. Um, but um, Meg is freaking awesome and said. Mia, Ivy Doom Kitty standing up and saying Bador modeling does not equal porn. Uh, and it's like a. I can't tell who that is, but she's going, yes. It's awesome. But anywho. Wow, so that's a jumped. daily dose of drama. That's Jesus. Yeah, she jumped I, uh, in, and a few other very well known cosplayers jumped in, and it got shut down, and it's done, and it's stupid. And the bottom line is. Stand up for your community, defend your community. You know, we're all a part of this community. And if one person's trying to drag it down, then it's up to each and every one of us to stand together and fight for the right thing, you know, and band together, just like we all did as well on, you know, on Twitter. So clearly, if that many of us stood together as one and were united about it, that should tell you right there whose mindset is completely flawed. It's it's simple. Okay. Shit. That went way longer than I thought it was going to. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was it expecting was, like was a long. two minute. Yeah. That was a... No, there's was like two and a half days worth of freaking back and forth. Well, uh, I hope you got it off of your chest. Uh, oh, no, it's good. That's good. I'm good. <laughs> I'll be writing a blog post on my Patreon Ooh. for you guys to check out. Well, I don't even know how you follow that. Aaron, what do we do? Um... Should I play that what new theme playing? song? No, we should definitely not do that. You, you don't think I should play a theme song again? No. What about this theme song? Oh, <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, oh man, that caught me off guard. What you play? about this theme song? And, then you play <laughs> and it was just happened to play. Like, okay. it's one of those things like you say, like, you walk outside and you're like, hey, what if it started raining and it just started raining? So are we just supposed to ignore the fact that you reached over and hit a button? I didn't. Uh, okay. I didn't see that. I didn't see that happen whatsoever. That is, of course, the What You're Playing theme song. The podcast gods have determined that they want to know what we've been playing. Feel free in chat to let us know the same. What have you been playing? And then uh, maybe we'll talk about it. Starting across from me, Aaron Carter. I know last week was pretty lame. You didn't really play anything uh, besides Pokemon Go, I think? Uh, yeah, I played a little Pokemon Go. Poke Go? Um, and this week, kind of nothing really. Uh, not even sorry. Pokemon Go? Not even Pokemon Go. I think... Are you I play, slowly not even a gamer anymore? Uh, I think I've uh, evolved. I knew he was going to say that. Um, he says like one of two things all the time. It's true. Um, uh, you know what I did, though? I did play some uh, real Mario Kart. Real Mario Kart. So did you drive on the freeway and throw bananas at people? No, no. I went, to, I, I went to a place uh, where you can play soccer pool. I showed you the picture, right? Yeah. But they had a thing called Mario Kart there. And... Um, I was like, well, you know, let's let's play this. And the guy brought like these RC cars. Okay. But they were they were Nintendo themed. Like the they whole were, thing was yeah. yeah, it was Mario on a, his Mario Kart. So it was right. the ones you can buy. And Yoshi. And what they did is they strapped balloons to the back of them, right? Oh, and then they put okay. a they put a uh, Oh, so this is battle mode. Battle yes, mode. Yes, this Mario was battle Kart. mode. Okay. They put balloons okay. on the back of them and then they put a needle in the front. And you got the RC car drive around and try to pop the other person's That's balloon. Cool. That's cool. And at fun. first, when I looked at it, I was like, this isn't going to work that well. It worked perfectly. Like, the balloons were inflated enough for you know us to yeah. pop each other's balloons. Um, yeah. I mean, but it, it happened. Uh, <laughs> I played that. That was crazy fun. I did the soccer uh, pool. That was fun. Uh, we played the hoops, the little basketball Where thing. Where is all this at? It sounds like the coolest place in the world. This place was actually pretty dope uh it's off of uh florin road in the cuts like just so like hidden right yeah. so i went there uh, late saturday and stayed there from nine to one in the morning just wow. just doing all these different uh things and it was it was fun what's it the place was, called again uh soccer compound i think okay i think it's called soccer compound oh, could you get a sponsorship my next question. Uh, they're actually quite new, so I'm not sure. Perfect, Perfect time. Yeah. I'm yeah not sure. And then they're, you know, there might be a language barrier, but whatever. 
Uh, so that's what I played. Web, what have you been playing? Uh, Street, Street Fighter and Overwatch. I'm still I'm playing Street Fighter. I'm glad still you're still Street on Street Fighter. Fighter. I am glad you're still on Street Fighter. Street Fighter and Overwatch. I haven't played in about a week. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to pick up the sticks again. Oh, yeah. Well, we heard that before. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just feeling so damn confident. I had a good training session in my last week, and uh, basically he, he taught me some who some trick he? tips and tricks. My coach. Your coach who? My coachy. Coachy? Uh, coachy. My coachy, yeah. What, what, what's a coachy? Yeah, coachy. No. Coachy. You know? Coachies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Goat? Are you saying goat cheese? No. I think, so. I think he's saying goat cheese. I the goat cheese. Goat cheese. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But is he Greek? However, needless to say, irregardless. I'm very, very, irregardless? Very, very yes. That is not a word. Yes, it is. Mm. I. It's been a word no. on this podcast for years. Yeah, it has. It's been on this podcast, definitely. It's okay, been, that yeah. word was put into the dictionary several years ago, but it is not a word. Right. Well, hang on, hang on. Let's not let's not <laughs> brush past that. It's been put in the dictionary, but it's not a word. I'm gonna Google it. Real quick. Where are you forcibly you put in the word? dictionary? Well, because so many do anything forcibly. Who the hell there are the because so many people were using it. So th- it's a word. Merriam-Webster no, dictionary. Yes. It became a word several years ago. So it became Wait, a, so word. It's a word. Boom, lawyered. Lawyer. It became a Bird word, law. yeah, because a bunch of like you boom, know boom, whatever's boom, 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 decided to use the word over and over and over again, and it spread like cancer. You know the... what? I have a good friend. Her name is Miriam Webster, uh, actually related to Webb, and yeah. she says, "Irregardless was popularized in a dialectal American speech in the early 20th century. It's increasingly widespread spoken use." Called to the attention of usage commentators as early as 1927. Irregardless is a double negative. This started happening in 1927. Yeah. The most frequently repre- repeated remark. Irregardless is a double negative. Is it regardless no is word? already negative. Irregardless is canceling out the word regardless. So just don't use the word. Use something else. Ivy, are you done? Because it says the most frequently repeated remark about this is that it's no such word. There is such a word, however. Says Miriam Webster. Boom! My relative. You, if you're still trying to pick up a fight from 1927 about a word that clearly exists, you're not gonna win this. You cannot win this, Ivy Doom Kitty. I agree with special cases. This is where like stupidity comes into play. Kofefi or Kofef or whatever the hell it will eventually get added into the dictionary. Irregardless See? of Ivy's opinion, it's a real word. It's a real word. <laughs> so let's talk about Street Fighter. You, how confident are you feeling right now? Uh, pretty damn confident. Yeah? Yeah. How you doing in the pugs? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Bronzy? I'm platinum. You lie. <laughs> Freaking liar. All uh, right. Yeah. We'll have to see. We shall see. What else are you playing? Overwatch. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to talk about that. No, we've talked that into the ground. Ivy Doomy, what you been playing? Doom Kitty. <laughs> I actually have playing? not had a chance to play anything. Cause do you I and Aaron almost... realize that you guys are on gaming podcasts? Uh, do you realize that I'm developing a video game? <laughs> as much as you're writing albums. Boom. Uh, it's highly incorrect. You're right. You're doing more with the albums. <laughs> yeah, you've actually <laughs> created artwork for the albums. Yeah, and I've actually come up with multiple uh, lines of... Uh, dialogue? Dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Concept art. Okay. Uh, I've been playing playing real life. I've been playing real life Pac Man when I travel. (laughs) So you're are you the ghost or are you Pac Man in this scenario? I'm both, depending on what I feel like (laughs) that morning. What? uh, So you you're uh, you're back with the Wizard World, huh? Yeah, yeah. I uh, did Wizard World Philly, and uh, in two weeks I'll be at a Wizard. See, now you got me screwing up and talking all like that. I was gonna say what? I'm gonna be at Wizzy Wizzy. Wizzy. No, at the Wizzy Wizzy. <laughs> hey. At Wizard World, Sacramento. You know, you seem to just be dodging me. You yeah. picked the one. Okay, I've gone to LA like five times since you've been a host on this show, Here and you're go. gone every single time. And just, just to spite me, the one week I'm gone, you're down in Sacramento. Up in Sacramento. Up in. That Sacramento. is your fault, my friend. Are you going to be here all three <laughs> days for the event, or? Yeah, all three days. I'm 
going to try wow. to fly out that Thursday night since I'll already be out there for E3 with you guys. It makes no sense to fly back home. I mean, drive back home and then drive back early in the morning, you know, Truth. Friday morning. So ideally fly out there, you know, Thursday so night that, and then have all Saturday or all Friday. Does that mean uh, we're going to have Ivy in the studio for the Saturday show? It would have to be after the costume contest, and you guys would have to feed me food. Aaron, it's all Aaron. Wow! It it all contest You're the only ends, one in, you're the only the one in the ends around. Here. The contest ends around eight thirty ish. Oh, see, that's perfect. That's way past his bedtime. No, I mean, the show starts at like nine ish. Yeah, yeah, we'd have to start around an nine, hour. and then I would need someone to pick me up from the hotel and take me to the location for podcasting. I would need food. I can supply somebody else to join us on the podcast, though, as well, if you'd like. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. now you, you now you earned Aaron's respect back because he doesn't do that shit for anybody, the not makers? even us. No, <laughs> whoever whoever's located at at uh, in Sacramento that week. Oh, oh so you should grab somebody somewhere. random. Hey, you, you That's look right like you're going to be on street. podcast. Yeah. Let's go. You better not be bringing his ears like, perked up. He really wants to meet Jessica Negri. Uh, we need to hold that over his head for as long that. as possible. No. No, I don't no, no, want no. that to happen. Yeah. No, no. In fact, is she going to be at E3? Uh, No, she doesn't have a ticket. Oh, okay. See. Does she need one? <laughs> Jeez. I think she would. Oh, you're talking about my sister? No. No. We're talking... <laughs> oh, wow. Just, just get Negri. Sorry, I read someone thing. Some, oh, Sheldon was talking about my little sister on um, on the feed. So my brain went See, to my little sister. The thing is, I know you guys want to meet her way more than I do. I've already I met her. I that's true. You don't I've, think that's true? I've already met her. Oh, okay. Sure, Web. Sure, Web. We've had a long conversation. Yeah, and I've been to the moon as well. Okay. Wow. That's weird. Uh, I was going to say, if she's, at, if she's at E3, then Corey and I need to take a picture with her and send to Aaron. We might as well. I mean, Ivy. At, she'll be at AX for sure. Ivy, let's, let's, we'll, we'll, at Wizard World, we'll find all the, the celebrities we can, you know, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just wrangle them all over here. And we'll just bring them back into the studio and do a good show. We'll bring Rooker suck. back. How's that? We'll bring I'll be Rooker a little back. pissed. <laughs> I'd be you know what? If you, get, <laughs> if you get Rooker back, you know, well, you know, that'd be awesome. Let's let's, let's go. We'll shoot for Rooker. We're like, hey, Rooker, we do the <laughs> podcast. You know, hey, Rooker, do you want to come to my house for a podcast? Hey, if I show him the it's studio, it's not even his house. If I show hey, Rooker, him the do studio, you come to my friend's house for a podcast. <laughs> it, it, would, <laughs> it would look very shady too, because the way that I get in the house, it would be. Yeah. <laughs> he goes oh in through the garage. So no, we're good, man. We're good. <laughs> yeah, just stay out here. We're good. Right back. That's the last thing I need. Like, hurry up, hurry up, come on. All the dogs are barking. I've met Rooker once too, and he's he's a handful. I I don't know if I want him in the studio. He'd, yeah, he'd, bro, let's he'd, do it. He'd probably destroy it. He's like. Super he, high energy. He'd pick things up to look at them and break something. Yeah. We got to do Michael Rooker. We'll get Val Kilmer is going to be in the building. Yeah. We're, we're getting them both. Wait, Val Kilmer is going to be at Sac Wizard World? Yes. yes. And I'm missing this? Yes. Doc and, Holiday? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, wait, and and who else? Who else? Kate Tell him Beckinsale? Else. Yep. Oh, oh we got to get one of these. Wait, why did they just have real good actors there? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's not even, like, normal. Wow. I'm expecting Lou Ferrigness and... Well, Lou Ferrigno is going to be there, yeah. Jason David Frank. <laughs> we got uh, jo John Hader. He's going to be there. Yeah. We got Edward James Olmos. Oh, it's Edward James Olmos? Yeah. That's almost acceptable. We got Bob Morley. <laughs> he probably disappoints so many people. <laughs> I was told Bob Marley was going to be here. No, no, no. Morley. Mor Morley. Morley. You got that dude. We got, yeah, Sean Gunn from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. yeah. Sean you got her? Cool. Lieutenant O'Hara? Cool. Oh, Lieutenant O'Hara. Uh... Nichelle Nichols. Yep. Nichelle Nichols. I in think fact, we, I think we, actually Michelle. They we, just spelled it wrong. We just need to get years. them all in the studio. That's all we need to do. Wrangle them all up. Yep. Wrangle them all up. <laughs> well, things are about to get really busy here uh, in VGB land. Next weekend, uh, the show will continue for the weekend bang. I will be, of course, down in L.A. doing Nairo Saga. And then next week during E3, expect many small form podcasts. So subscribe. Please subscribe to the iTunes if you have an iPhone or the Android Marketplace. If you have an Android, you can go there, search the Marketplace for video game space bang, and you hit that subscribe button. We'd appreciate any ratings you can give us as well because that helps other people find the podcast which is advertising which is like giving us money but if you can't afford to it's like boom you just did it you helped a brother out um i appreciate uh everyone on our patreon we've been giving more content there we've started a new little podcast series called the throwaways 
which are like little 10 to 15 minute tidbits of just the guys messing around. You get a little behind the scenes stuff. Like we were in the middle of recording and Ivy was ready to do the show. So she called and we made her part of it. So uh, thanks for everyone for watching the show. Uh, we'll see you on the internet for Corey, Ivy, Aaron, and David Webb. Bye bye. YouTube chat.